Hey guys, John here. Uh, it's another episode of Vault of the Dungeon Master. I know it's been a while since my last video, but uh, I just want to make this video kind of as a general update, kind of stuff I've been doing uh, recently. Uh, all my games have been doing really well. Everybody's been really gelling. Uh, my first edition homebrew game I love um, with a game because I've put a lot of effort into it and a lot of effort into my kind of rebirth of my world. And so it's been fun. Uh, my fifth edition campaign, which is actually going to run tonight, I, f I love as well. I, I do like fifth edition a lot. I like the fact that it's a very malleable system. You can kind of tweak things. I'm not too crazy on a couple key aspects of it, just because I I prefer you know how it was handled in previous editions or whatever, or just I would have hand done it differently. But I do like it for the most part, and everybody's enjoying it now. And this is actually, in this video, my next topic is about stuff that I've been doing for 5th edition. Um, the first is, I converted my old 4th edition DM screen here, because, uh, and I converted it, I found a PDF of some charts for 5th edition, so I have converted, you know, the old, I've, I've converted the old edition DM screen into a newer DM screen, because, I mean, why not? I mean, why waste money on it? New newer DM screen when I could just get this one and this is a nice decent you know card stock screen and plus I love the illustration on it. Um, also, with that said, I also finally made character cards for the Initiative Order. This is kind of a thing that's been uh, going around. That's going on. It's been going on around for years around the YouTube RPG community and. They can see I got all the players' names here, and uh, yeah, got all the players' names. I've got monster ones and NPC ones, and that's just to uh, so when you're putting them on the DM screen, you can just put them on there. And we we'll grab the monster one, and then you have the initiative order. And also I have on the back, I have a little blank with their name, so if they get any conditions, I can write on pencil, you know, what the conditions are, you know, oh, they're blinded now, or whatever, or they have advantage or disadvantage, or whatever. So, yeah. That's cool. Um, like I said, that's been an idea that's been going around, and all, uh, it's really a simple idea. It's just, you know, four folded uh, index cards with, you know, writing on it, so that's nice. Um, so that's probably going to make a little things easier. That way, you know, there's a visible display of initiative. And, um... Speaking of initiative, I, I do initiative a couple different ways. I might change my ways for fifth. I might go back to the, uh, set initiative. But what I love doing is I love, um, changing initiative every round because, you know, you can... It shifts up the dynamic of the fight, which I like. I, I like a lot, and actually the 5th edition DM, DM's Guide actually has a lot of cool initiative variants um, uh, that I like a lot, and I might do that in a separate video, but yeah. Um, I might just go back, just for the sake of organization, go back to the single, you know, the set initiative for the encounter, but you know, I, I do like the, I, I do like the, um, every round's a new initiative, because I just, I like the, I like the flow of it, especially, I like it in you know, the earlier editions, because, you know, it's roll a d6 for initiative, and the, you know, the lowest number, the highest number goes first or whatever. So I like that. But anyway, um, so uh, yeah, uh, character cards, DM screen, um, having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun with these games I'm running, because just everybody's kind of, everybody's kind of chilling for the most part. Everybody, the group's got a good dynamic. And uh, also, my face is really red. But uh, yeah, so yeah, anyway, that's... My gaming right now. Um, anyway, as always, I'm John, your friendly neighborhood dungeon master. Always remember to comment in the video. Um, to, you know, get a conversation going. You know, and um, as always, uh, happy gaming.